Power BI for Mac? Do we have it? Do we not? I will show you step by step how you can use Power BI on Mac, what works, what doesn't, and what are the workarounds. I'm also going to share with you why we do not have a Power BI desktop for Mac and why it may not matter. Hey, I'm Avi Singh, Power BI Pro. I help companies and individuals get quick and powerful results by using the Agile method for Power BI. Now, if you want to become a Power BI Pro, make sure to subscribe and click the bell so you are notified whenever I go live to answer your Power BI questions. Before we look at Power BI for Mac, let's look at Power BI, specifically the roles involved when using Power BI. The Power BI end user consumes these dynamic, interactive, and rich reports available in Power BI. They can interact with them, slice and dice, drill down, filter, cross filter, even ask questions using natural language to get the insight they need from the data. Report authors create the reports that the end users use, but it all depends on the Power BI model. That's the heart of Power BI, and that is created by the model author. If you're interested in learning how to author Power BI models, I'm going to link my full tutorial at the end of this video. Now let's look at the tools or services you need for each role. The model author must use Power BI desktop to author their models, but the report authors have a choice. They can use the Power BI desktop or they can easily author reports on PowerBI.com inside any modern browser. And the end user consume the reports via PowerBI.com or native apps available on every platform, iOS, Android, and Windows. I'm gonna link those to those in the description below. So let's do a report card for what works and does not work on a Mac. End users and report authors would have no trouble using a Mac but the model author is stuck because there's no Power BI desktop for Mac. Now, before you start reacting, let's put this in context. In an organization which has, let's say, 1,000 end users, you only need about 50 to 60 report authors because these reports are incredibly dynamic and end users can often get their answers by interacting with the reports or asking their questions using natural language. And supporting these report authors would be just two to three model authors. Now I know this is true because I have seen one model author support 600 plus end users. Okay, that was me back in 2009 inside Microsoft and now the technology is even more amazing. If that's really the case, you only need two to three model authors to support thousand plus end users, why is there so much anger and emotion around Power BI desktop for Mac? I believe that's because even though that's the end state, thousand end users, two to three model authors, most companies do not begin there they begin at Power BI Desktop. That's simply because Power BI Desktop is free, whereas Power BI.com is a paid service. So they start there and it feels like a dead end, but it isn't. Here are the solutions to run Power BI Desktop on Mac. And hey, don't shoot the messenger here, just hear me out. You could buy a Windows machine. A decent machine to run Power BI should cost you less than $1,000. You can also run a Windows virtual machine on Azure and that should cost you about $100 a month or more based on the machine you choose. You could dual boot on your Mac, but that's clunky and I would not recommend it. Instead, you can use Parallels to run Windows inside your Mac. Now that would cost you about $79 for their standard edition. You can also try VirtualBox, which is a similar service for free. Or try out the cloud-based Trend.net for about $9 a month, which runs your applications in the cloud and can stream them to your Mac. So it would look like you're using Power BI Desktop on your Mac. Now we have all the links in description, but always remember what is the end state. Every user does not need Power BI Desktop only very selected model authors do. You would need PowerBI.com licensing for the rest as you roll it out within your organization. Now, why did Microsoft not create a Power BI desktop for Mac? Before we go there, if you're just starting out with Power BI, I have a complete step-by-step -step tutorial to take you from zero to dashboard. And if you're looking to compare Power BI versus Tableau, I have that comparison for you as well. Just click the link shown here in the cards or down below in the description. Now, the idea for Power BI desktop for Mac 
or designer, as it was known back then, has more than 3,600 votes. That makes it one of the highest voted ideas on the Power BI site. So then why, oh why, did Microsoft not act on this idea? How dare they? Well, there are two reasons. One, it's really, really hard. Now you have to understand that Power BI Desktop is essentially running a full-blown SQL Server Analysis Server under its hood. It's not just a user interface we're talking about. In fact, Amir Nets from Microsoft shared that it would have taken the whole development team a full year of doing nothing but this to create Power BI Desktop for Mac. What's the second reason? Kim shared that with us in the official update, that the plan is to bring more authoring capability into the web experience on PowerBI.com. Well, I would not hold my breath for that, so do consider the Mac solutions that I suggested. But hey, we live in a world where people edit videos on their phones. Why won't we be able to author Power BI models on the web? And the next thing, jetpacks and flying cars. If you ask me, Power BI started it all. Hey, keep watching more videos and keep learning Power BI. But if you did enjoy this video, I would love to hear from you. So leave a comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Power on, my friends.